So moving on to question eight here um, from the June 2018 paper one for A-level maths at Excel. We have a very boring question. Um, it's about a boat in a harbour on a particular day. And these questions are always very similar to this. They're really boring. But we have to use a bit of trig modeling here to solve this question. So we're given the equation d is equal to 5 plus 2 sine 30t. And t is between 0 and 24, where t is a number of hours after midnight. So we're given a bit of information. The boat enters the harbour at 6.30 a.m. and it takes two hours to load its cargo. The boat requires a depth of water to be at least 3.8 metres before it can leave the harbour. So for part A, we have to find the depth of the water in the harbour when the boat enters. And then for part B, we have to find to the nearest minute the earliest time that the boat can leave the harbour. And you're not allowed to use a graphical or numerical method approach to it. So let's start with part A. So part A. It's only one mark, hopefully nice and easy. If this enters the harbour at 6.30 a.m., so how many how, how many hours is that after midnight? Well, that's going to be 6.5, 30 minutes, half an hour. So that's going to be 6.5. So what we do is just sub this into this equation. So d is going to be equal to 5 plus 2 sine, so plus 2 sine. That's going to be 30 times 6.5 so what that's going to give us is 4.48 so let's be very careful guys one make sure you include the units which meters because we're told the what depth of the water d meters and make sure you're in degrees here we're working in degrees not radians so 4.48 meters perfect so that's part a done now for part b we have to find the earliest time that the boat can leave the harbour. So if the boat can uh, has to be the depth of water has to be at least 3.8. So what that means is that this d is going to be 3.8. So set this up. So that's going to be 5 plus 2 sine 30. And that's going to be equal to 3.8. Now we need to solve this, so we can take 5 across, so 2 sine 30 is going to be equal to minus 1.2. And then sine of 30 that's going to be equal to minus 0.6. So now we need to think about how we solve this. So we take the inverse here, right? So this can be inverse sine minus 0 0.6. So if we do that, so that's going to be sine inverse of minus 0 0.6. So we're going to make sure you're in degrees. This will give you minus 36.869. Minus 36.869. Now we have to consider a couple of things. We're looking for the earliest time that this boat can leave the harbour. Now, straight away this is negative, and because this is 30 at the minute, we find the inverse of 30. Well, if I divide this by 30, my answer is going to be negative, and we can't have a negative time. So we're going to have to keep going and get a couple of other solutions. So how do we get the next solution for a sine equation? Well, that's going to be 180 minus this answer. So 180 minus 36.869 will give us 216. 0.869 and let's get one more and we'll stop there and I'll explain why so the next one is just going to be 360 units across so minus 36.869 plus 360 that'll give me 322.130 and we can stop here and the reason why is because what we're looking for is the earliest time that the boat can leave the harbour. So, surely, if this isn't the earliest, this must be the earliest. The one after it can't be any earlier than this, right? So, let's consider working these out. So, these are 30t. So, 30t is equal to all of these values. So, t, we're going to have to divide all of these by 30. So, this one, the first one, will be minus 1.228. Well, straight away, we can scrap that. So, negative time it isn't going to be the correct one. So that one, we don't want. 216.869 divided by 30, that's going to give me 
So that looks good so far. Let's just work this last one out just to be sure. So 322.130 divided by 30, that's going to give me 10.771. Now, this looks like it's going to be the earlier one, right? And that would make logical sense, but make sure you read the question carefully, guys. So the boat enters the harbour at 6.30 a.m., but it takes two hours to load its cargo. So that boat isn't going to set off again until 8.30 a.m. Now this is 7.228, so it's somewhere between 7 and 8 a.m. So we can't have this value, so we're going to reject this one as well, which means this must be my earliest time, so 10.771. So we need it to the nearest minute, though. So we're going to have to convert this into minutes and hours. So therefore, t is going to be equal, so you do 60 times 0.771. So what you get is that t is equal to 10. 46 a.m. And that's the earliest time that it can leave the harbour. So that's all of question 8 done.